MCQ7 have us focus on the functions that's carried out by the liver cells. So doing a little bit of an overview here, the liver is having quite a critical role in the maintenance of homeostasis in the body, as well as general metabolism. So we're going to see a few vessels that's actually attached towards the liver. So we're going to have the hepatic portal vein that sends digested material from the ileum towards the liver for post-processing before it enters the general bloodstream. So I'm just going to put a general direction. It's coming from the ileum, which is the last part of the small intestine. Now we're also going to have a general intake of oxygenated blood. This is again critical because the liver is a living tissue, a living organ. It definitely needs oxygen and glucose for aerobic respiration. So this set of oxygenated blood that's also rich in glucose will enter the liver via the hepatic artery. And the main source of it is actually from the left ventricle of the heart. During ventricular systole, oxygenated blood is pumped via the left ventricle into the aorta as it circulates throughout the rest of the body. Now lastly, waste from the liver has to exit as well and this will be through the hepatic vein. So the hepatic vein carries waste like urine that the liver actually does so in the deamination of the amino acids as well as carbon dioxide and water that's produced via aerobic respiration and the destination of it is going to be back towards the vena cava of the heart itself. So I'm just going to take a look at each of the options and see how can we fill them in to see whether if that's true. In option number one, the breakdown of glycogen. Now I'll say that this is a viable process here because the liver actually stores glycogen and this storage is actually from the excess glucose that's actually sent to the liver. Now the glycogen itself, after it has been broken down, it will be transformed into glucose and it will exit the liver via the hepatic vein. So this process again is being facilitated via the hormone glucagon and it's often done so when blood glucose level is lower than physiological level. Now the second option here is the excretion of urea. Now although I would say that urea ultimately leaves the liver via the hepatic vein, the actual excretion itself, the actual excretion itself is not done via the liver but rather it is done via the kidney so option two is out in three itself we're going to take a look at the metabolism of amino acids this definitely is a green light here because urea itself came from excess amino acid going through the process of deamination that actually gives rise to the generation of urea that leaves the liver via the hepatic vein Again, this is via the amination. And lastly, in option number four, the production of glycogen. So this is very much conversely opposite of option number one. So to produce glycogen itself, this is done in the presence of insulin, whereby the glucose from the ileum, based off the absorption at the ileum, enter into the liver and the excess is converted into glycogen for storage. So I'll say that option number four is correct, just like option number one as well. So the answer for this question here will be option C, one, three, and four.